Original Batman she gave me bon me out, so she gave me bon me out. Hey guys, what's up? It's Caitlin Nashi. I'm welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I got this really cute, sleek, high ponytail. I am in love with how this ponytail turned out. First of all, I was never able to achieve a hairstyle like this by myself, mainly because it's very complicated. But I actually took the time and took patience to actually figure out how to do this hairstyle. I actually watched a couple of YouTube videos before I actually did my own hair, which is kind of funny. If you like to see how I achieve this look, definitely stay tuned. And also, I do want to know that if you see the back of my neck, the kitchen, I've always struggled with trying to get it sleek all the way up. Next time, I will use a blow dryer to actually try to sleek it up a little bit better. But other than that, I definitely love how it turned out and if you like to see how I achieve this look definitely stay tuned But before we get into today's video, please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that post notification bell So you can stay updated every time I post. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get into today's video All right to start off this hairstyle you do want to make sure that your hair is blow dried straight and also if you don't want to just have it in its blow dry state you can also flat iron it as well i just mainly did a blow dry mainly because i do want to have less heat damage i did end up cutting my hair recently that's why it's a little bit choppy and it's starting to grow back now so make sure when you're doing this hairstyle you do blow dry straight or flat iron it is totally up to you so the first product that i'm going in with is the tegan bed head wax stick i love using this for my hair so if you would like to purchase this is only $19.81 but you can also get them in the smaller sizes as well alrighty so we're moving on to step number two so when you use the Tegan wax stick make sure you apply this around the perimeters of your hair now if you are doing baby hairs I would say pull your hair out first before you apply the wax stick but I ended up pulling my hair out after it's totally up to you so you do want to apply it around every inch of the perimeter of your head Alrighty, so now we're on to step three. When doing this part, you need to use a bristle brush. You're welcome to use a hard bristle brush if you like, but I actually have this bristle brush that I actually got from the dollar store. So when using a brush, you wanna make sure you're brushing it up to the highest point of your head, which is technically the crown of your head. That way you know where you want to position your ponytail. And you also should look at the mirror to see if this is the position that you want your ponytail to fall in. So this is actually around the first step when I was talking about pulling out your baby hair. So I'm actually doing that right now in this clip. And most of these aren't baby hairs or they are adult hairs as well. So keep that in mind. It just depends on how much you want to take out. This is just my personal preference. So now I'm going in with the Got To Be Glued Styling Spiking Glue for my hair to actually hold it in place. And this product actually works fairly well, so I do suggest it 100%. You can pick this up at Walmart, Amazon, Target, wherever you see it at. So when applying this product, you do want to use like a dime size um, when using this around the perimeter of your head. And you're also welcome to brush your hair up into a ponytail with this product. Now I do want to say do not use a lot because it does leave a white residue in your hair. And you do not want that look in your head. But if you have a different product that you like to use to sleek your hair, I definitely do recommend that you use that as well. But I use this for my hair, so you should definitely try it out if you haven't already. So this part you do want to take very seriously. You want to take your time and make sure you wrap this around a few times. That way it can stay up to a high ponytail. Sometimes if you wrap around twice, it's not going to be as tight. But I did wrap mine a few times in order for it to be tight as possible. I did use a really nice elastic band for this. So I do recommend that you get a few elastic bands without any metal on it. That way it does not pull your hair out as well. So now I'm going in with the Garnier Fructis hairspray and this is the volume one. You can pick this up at CVS and it's only $5.29 which is a really nice price so I definitely go check CVS for this product or you can check Walmart, I'm pretty sure they have it in there or Target. So 
So now what you want to do is grab any type of wrap that you have. I had this silk wrap from a sponsor video a while back that came with this wig. I'm going to wrap the perimeter of my hair that way my hair can lay flat once I take it off and work on my ponytail. So while you're waiting for your hair to dry, what you need is a powder brush so that way you can brush out any ponytail that you have unless you buy a brand new one, you don't necessarily need to. But I did have this ponytail for a while so if I can find something that's similar to what I have, I'll link it below. But this ponytail is approximately 26 inches long so I would definitely check any beauty supplies for that you have just to check to see if they have this type of ponytail. So now you're gonna go ahead and take down the wrap of the scarf that you had on your head for five to 10 minutes. And then you should see that my base is actually laying pretty flat. You are welcome to use a blow dryer if you like to, but I did just end up like leaving the wrap on for 10 minutes. But this is how my base is looking for right now. So now you're gonna take the comb of your ponytail and place it at the bottom of your ponytail. This is very important because if you place it at the top, it's not going to turn out the same exact way. So you're gonna take it out. I'm gonna show you again. And then you're gonna put it right back into the base and make sure that it's very snug. And then you're gonna wrap the ponytail clockwise around your head. Now, this will take you a minute if you have never done this before. And I'm surprised that I actually got it fairly good on the first try. So definitely take your time with doing this process or have somebody help you as well. So this is me actually showing you in real time. This is going to be my first wrap. When you're wrapping this, make sure that you're wrapping it fairly tight, but not too tight to the point that you're going to have a headache. So this is my first wrap, and then I'm going to wrap it a second time, and then I'm going to add a bobby pin at the top. You will see me do that in the video, so just stay tuned for that part. So now with that little piece of hair that was left on the ponytail, you're gonna take that and brush it out. Make sure that you brush it out all the way. There's no snags or anything on it. That way it can wrap seamlessly. And you're gonna take hairspray and you're gonna actually spray this while you wrap it as well. So you'll see me actually spray this and then wrap it around my head and then bobby pin it a little bit and then wrap it again. So now we are moving on to my edges. I'm using the Argan Oil Cream of Nature Perfect Edges to lay down my edges for the base part. And then after that, I'm going to place the Got To Be Glue on top of that. That way it can stay in place. So I do wanna say make sure that you do your makeup last, that way you don't get makeup in your edges, but thank goodness I didn't because I took my time doing my hair. But I do plan on making a separate video of how I lay down my baby hairs or adult hairs <laughs> in a separate video. So definitely stay tuned for that, but I am going to skip forward to the final result. 
and here are the final results i definitely loved how it turned out for sure i think it actually turned out quite beautiful and also i do want to know if you see those two dots on my neck because i feel like somebody's going to ask i ended up burning myself with a cramper a while back so that's why that's there but i do plan on cutting the ends of this hair because i have had it for a very long time so i will try my best to find the link for this hair down below but if you like today's video please don't forget to give my video a huge thumbs up and i'll catch you all in my next video bye